So guys, I've been asked, hey, what's a good treat for the dog? Well, there's no better treat, technically, than you. You are the treat. Now, we've got some good pig ears here. I know some people say, hey, pig ears are dangerous for the dogs. Can be. Can be. These are real pig ears, though. <clears throat> the dogs tend to have to chew and chew and chew and do a little light work. So I'm going to use this as a motivating tactic. I'm going to dry some of these dogs out. And I'm going to give the rest of these ears to Ego and Tron. But what are the things that you need to ensure you and your dog have a successful life and a successful relationship? Why do you think dogs act like hooligans? We're not gonna talk about that today. That's coming in the future. Today, we're just gonna talk about five minutes a day will keep your mind at peace and the doctor away. No, I'm playing. <laughs> so, what I've got here are some hot diggity dogs. I'm just gonna take two of them. You don't wanna overdo it. And so, I think the title of this video will be how to train or begin training your American bully, especially as a puppy. Two things, as I've said before, American bullies are sense, I won't say they're sensitive, but they're not super confident. So what you wanna practice is getting them under control, ASAP. Right now, we've got no distractions out here. It's a little nippy, it's a little nippy. Wasn't, wasn't planning on this here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it's a lot of nippy. I'm gonna set this right here. I'm gonna start with Bam Bam. Hold this for me real quick. Well, actually, I'm gonna start with Come here. What have you been doing? What have you been doing? So I'm gonna take this ear here. Because Bam Bam's the only one that hasn't done it. So check this out. While I'm working on one of the dog's behaviors, I'm gonna turn around and get him to work on getting in the tire. Here's the thing. We talked about building a new dog and the importance of working on its epigenetics. Cha-Cha got on and in the tire in about 48 hours, realistically a day. Bam Bam has now not done it and we're working on 72 hours. Tut came over the other day for the first time I believe that was his first time. He did it the first time. And it took him less than no time. So until he figures that out, I'm going to sit here and work on Cha Cha. No, Cha Cha is a hooligan, as you see. <laughs> and she requires a lot of patience. You better cut that out. Some hot sauce fell on my foot, girl. <laughs> so once the hot dogs are dry, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you take one out. Break a little piece off. Cha cha. What you want to do first? <laughs> give them a little. Give them a little indicator that they're gonna do some work. Hot. Sit. <laughs> now, Maya, she's got no training. She's literally chewing as we speak. Come over here so they can see this too. So two things. Another thing to be mindful of. People say, "Hey, how do you get your dog not to chew on you?" She doesn't want to hurt my hand to be clear. So she gets in there, she tries, but I'm gonna give her this horse, stand the dog trainer. Put it like this here, look at her. She's so, that teach her to eat out of your hand without tearing your hand up. She tears the hand up, I pull it away and teach her a little bit more control. Hot, talk to her the whole time. Give her the hot dog, now she's like, okay. That's what's going on, look at her. This dog is excited. What I'll turn around now is, again, it's the patience man game now. Let me be very clear in saying this, people. Some people get discouraged right away. Hot, sit. Good. And you wanna to continue to have her practice good habits. I said before, if they start chewing on you and hurting you, you press down on their mouth here, and you wanna hear that little sound because it'll get them to stop biting on you. They don't like that. Now the key, because someone says, hey, what do you do when your dog disobeys you? Pace yourself. She's not being disobedient. I've got to speak her language. I've got to speak her language. She wants to jump. We do not reward that behavior. 
Good. See that? One step at a time. I literally done nothing with this dog. She's back to this position here. And we've got two hot dogs to work with. Now this is an opportunity again to build this dog's bond with myself and even more importantly, our line of communication. want to keep her interested though. Sit. Good. And you want to increase the time. So in my head I'm counting one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Goal of course is to get up to ten. Am I discouraged when the dog's roaming around? No, not at all. I've got all the treats. And as you see she... <laughs> hey, 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 she got some sharp nails. Look at that. She's making me ask you. Oh, I don't even put on lotion. I have to get some lotion fooling with you. So again, I want to lure her off of me because I don't want her jumping on me. Sit. You don't want to repeat it once she gets in the, into the position. Good. Sit. I want to keep her entertained. Now mind you, a lot of people stand up and do this stuff. I like to be eye level with my dog to be clear and just work on our line of communication. I don't like doing too much moving around personally. There's a lot of people who do it different and every way works as long as you and your dog have a good line of communication and the dog understands your expectations. <clears throat> Sit. it right there it is a process people and most time I don't show my process what you see is a dog come out of nowhere like how you get a dog do all that stuff and you'd be like why <laughs> that's what I'd be like why mind your business <laughs> but but you're seeing again the patience the love the care the admiration for the dogs me understanding hey she doesn't know what's going on she's literally a baby born July 7th of this year see it I'm going to lure her back. Sit. Good. See that right there? And you don't want to give a reward too fast. Patience is the name of everything that you do in life. Everybody tries to rush things. And what ends up happening? Not, a lot of bad things happen. The things you can't control. I'm in no rush to get it right today. What we have to do is spend a little time every day or at least three to four times a week working on, again, what she, what I need from her so that we can continue to work together. Good. See that? She's already getting better. She's already was making eye contact the whole time because she knows I have the treat. I have the reward. There's nothing in this for her. It's all for me and me making sure that she stays safe all the time. What does safety look like? Her being in the utmost control. So we're going to finish off. We've got one little piece left and that'll be it for today. Cha -cha. Now mind you again, I'm not telling you this is the right way to train. I didn't give her a command that time either. She's too amped up. Good. So my first thing is, as I'm learning from the dog, as I'm saying, okay, this dog lacks patience. Which means I can't lose mine, right? Because <laughs> you want to say, get off me, get out, leave me alone. That ain't going to solve a problem, I assure you that. She's just a puppy. She, does, she literally doesn't know any better. You don't think working dog when you think American bully. You just don't think those things. They weren't designed for that. Hey, 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 leave me alone. We shoot. <laughs> you just don't think cha-cha. You just don't think that. So in order to get them to the place I want them to get them, I want to get them to. Lord, she's tearing me up here. She is tearing me up here. I should have put some sweats on. <laughs> she's tearing me up. In order to get her to the place where I, where I need her to be, 
I have to practice patience, teach her patience, and then most importantly, manage her emotional state by managing mine. If I lose it, bad things happen. Now the dog's afraid of me. I don't need her afraid of me. I need her to be better, which means I need to be better. You just saw her work through. That's first time ever, to be clear. I've worked no positions. I don't even know she knows her name because first year for me, I just built her confidence. That's it, that's all. For now, stay tuned, take care of your dogs. Like, subscribe, share. Remember to pace yourself, people. Again, there are a lot of people who do a lot of moving stuff. For me, I like my dogs to learn control quick. Part of the way in which I teach them to control is I sit in a control position. All that, that works, and I've seen it work. Stan and many dog trainers do a very good job of it. For me, I want that dog to be like this at all times. A tin hut, and trust me, a lot of dog trainers have their dogs at a 10 hunt and even better than I'll ever train any of my dogs. But for me, <laughs> I need them one-on-one, -on -one, eye to eye, we're working together and slowly but surely like you've seen Tron and Ego, when I'm standing and sitting down there like this, they're like this the whole time for a minute and some change, they're like this here, looking dead at me. Why? Because it started right, right on the little seat, eye to eye. Getting them interested in the things that I'm interested in. So at any who, thank you for watching per usual. Stay tuned as always, take care of your dogs.